18 лет я начал заниматься рукопашным боем, в 19 начал заниматься бразильским жилжицей и грэпплингом. В 21 год я дебютировал в ММА по профи, провел свой первый бой, выиграл его. И после этого я начал выступать уже как профессионал 21 года. Ну, вообще я был в Таиланде три недели, тренировался в клубе Тайгер Муэтай. Затем я поехал в Старый Оскол, там была сборная России по ММА и ребята из клуба Александр Невский. Second fight in M1. Um, I'm fighting St. Petersburg this time. Looking forward to it. Uh, my opponent Oleg. He looks like he's a good up and coming uh, prospect. So uh, if he wants to get to that next level, he's got to be a guy like me. Я в принципе ожидал, что у меня будет серьезный соперник, так как Торос был тоже не простой соперник. Все говорят, что он ветеран, что ему 34 года, но я не считаю, что в 34 года человек такой же ветеран. Посмотреть его бои, он в отличной физической форме, хорошо дышит, хороший навык. Я знаю, ты очень много провел боев. Я думаю, что мы с тобой, что публика останется довольна нашим боем. Дамы и господа, в седьмом гуру Ижа спортсмен представляет Соединенные Штаты Америки по прозвищу Дизель. Приветствуйте, Джо Ригс! First-class person who continues to have a first-class career in MMA, Joe Riggs of the United States. 45 professional mixed martial arts victories, a remarkable 40 of those coming by way of finish. Riggs made his UFC debut August 2004 at the age of 21. He's fought a total of 12 times for that promotion. He's also fought in Bellator, Strike Force, and the WEC, where he was the middleweight champion. Joe Riggs made his M1 debut July of this year. He defeated Dmitry Samoylov by way of third round TKO. Riggs enters tonight's bout, having won his last four fights with four finishes. Riggs, outstanding ground and pound. Extremely heavy, top pressure and control. Very technical with his jujitsu. Oftentimes does not get the credit that he deserves because he is so ferocious with his ground and pound and such a big striker on the feet.
Спортсмен Красному Гурыча представляет Российскую Федерацию. Город Екатеринбург. Клуб Рачиборец. Встречайте! Олег Оленичев! Oleg Olenichev of Russia started his pro MMA career, four wins, three losses. Since then has really hit outstanding four. Five wins in his last six fights as he enters tonight with three finishes over that span. He is a very talented and accomplished grappler. Also very strong with his Muay Thai. He lived in Thailand for two years training Muay Thai and MMA alongside Roger Huerta. Lenichev very aggressive on the ground. Three of those nine wins coming by way of rear naked choke. Always looking to take the back, always hunting for submissions. Very talented fighter, a very smart fighter, Oleg Lenichev. This has all of the ingredients to be an outstanding fight in the middleweight division. Joe Riggs versus Oleg Olenichev. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an M1 Challenge bout in the middleweight division. Now let me introduce your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 35 years old. He weighed in at 83.5 kilograms. He stands 182 centimeters tall and has a professional record of 44 wins with only 17 losses. He is WEC champion, winner of Fight Master Reality Show, USC. Bellator and Strike Force veteran from the United States of America. Please welcome Joe Diesel Riggs. And now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 25 years old. He weighed in at 83.9 kilograms. He stands 185 centimeters tall and has a professional record of nine wins with four losses. He is multiple time winner of the regional grappling and BJJ events. And he is the winner of the Golden Tiger event. From Rati Boretz, from Russia, Oleg Olenichev. <laughs> and your referee for this bout, Miko Sinkinen. Okay, gentlemen, you both know the rules, so let's make good and clean fight. In the middleweight division, Joe Riggs versus Oleg Olenichev. Ready, ready, fight! The gong in round number one. Black trunks, blue trim for Riggs. Black trunks, red and white trim for Olenichev. This is a big fight for Olenichev. Joe Diesel Riggs has been in with the best in the world. Very strong, great at ground and pound. Inside kick to open with his striking for Oleg Olenichev.
Riggs ever so slightly trying to walk down Olenichev, trying to cut off the ring. Swing and a miss. Nothing on that kick. Now Riggs is just slowly walking him down, waiting for the right moment to strike. Feeling out his opponent, see what he's got on the, on the counter punch. Right hand by Ole Golenichev. Riggs looks for the level change. And he he's hits the high. takedown. And it was a legal punch, so if you can't see out the eye, that's down to a legal punch. So it's, unfortunately, it's hazards of the job. He's still got his eye closed there. It's obviously just hit the target correctly or incorrectly, as you could call it. But obviously, you... Accept. Well, any chef, it's correct because he wants his eye closed as quick as he can, to be honest. You just heard the call for action from referee Mika Sinkinen. Open guard now, closed guard for Oleg Olenichev. Well, I'm looking at the eye now of uh, Diesel Riggs, and it seems to be open now, so it looks all right. Sometimes you can get a knuckle clean in the eye, and it's like an eye poke, but it's perfectly legal, and there's nothing you can do about it, unfortunately. But Joe seems to be fine now. He's postured up, now he's throwing big shots. As one of the true founders of ground and pound in mixed martial arts machine, you really have to appreciate the ground and pound base of Joe Riggs. Yeah, of course. I mean, everybody thinks ground and pound is just a matter of throwing punches. It's not. You've got to set your base right. You've got to set the shots up right. You've got to pull away any obstruction so you can hit the shots cleanly. Big left hand. And first and foremost, You've got to throw the punches so that they don't wear you out. They don't get you tired yeah. by using wasted shots. No elbows to the head. No elbows to the head. Second and just said the rigs, no elbows to the head. It's not an elbow. He was, he, he's punching and the punches are missing. Watch your, mark your elbows. It's not, it's not intentional. Olenichev was talking to Sinkin and Riggs very sportingly stopped striking. It was a left hand and the forearm dragged through, but it was definitely not an intentional elbow from Riggs. Let's be careful of the triangle. Now he's pushed his arm back through. Big yeah, clean nice. right hand. Have to watch where his head is. Guillotine needs to watch it. One check from half guard. Nothing now on that Diesel guillotine. Diesel's arm triangle. Diesel's going to switch the arm triangle. No, he's left it. Difficult with his right hip against the fence. Looking to cage walk, fence and rope walk is Olenichev. Riggs matches him. Yeah, nearly got it. Riggs in half guard now. Open half guard, Olenichev. the back, got one hook in, now two. Tried to this is good through. position now. Riggs looking for the rear naked choke finish. Gotta watch his balance. He's over the top, he's high, very high. See if can... Oh, great work. Riggs Flattens him out. sucking in under the armpits of Olenichev. Technical and smart from Joe Riggs. Both hooks in. 50 seconds remaining, round number one. Riggs switches from one. Oh, going for arm triangle now. Good work, Joe. Good work. A lot of squeeze from Riggs. Again, now taking he's got the back. back. On top position. He needs to be careful with the balance. He's falling off again. Riggs getting very high again, trying to reach through and under. Lenichev's going to come out the back door. He's going for an arm bar as he comes over. Oh, he gets through. Olenichev out the back door, now letting go with ground and pound in his own. 15 seconds remaining, round number one. Well, the ground and pound isn't very strong, so I'm sure Riggs will be all right with that. Half butterfly guard now for Joe Riggs. Riggs looking to turn. Final seconds of round one. That's the end of the opening round. Yeah, a strong round for Joe Riggs. Although Olenichev changed the position right at the end of the round, it wasn't enough time to gain that round. We are online, m1global.tv. We're so pleased that you're with us watching this, our 20th anniversary M1 show on television, online at m1global.tv around the world. From round number one. There was the right hand straight 
legally into the left eye of Joe Riggs. No fingers extended. Just flush into the left eye with the knuckle. Riggs then immediately hitting the takedown and going to work with his ground and pound that has made him so successful over the course of his pro MMA career. Closing stages of round one. Olenichev out the back door, taking top position, ground and pound of his own. Headed into round number two. Sporting touch of gloves from both fighters and right back to work. Kick checked. Lenichev trying to walk down Riggs with punches. Turn on the separation, then the left hook. Faint with the right hand by Oleg Lenichev. Straight punches the level change of his own. Met by Riggs, who tries to hit the outside trip, and he does. Oh, nice takedown. From the outside trip to the single and the takedown. Well, this is Joe Riggs' world here. Just needs to keep a hold of those legs. Riggs floating through in the side control. Good left hand. Again, he takes the back shot. Quick restart was because Olenichev's right glove was caught in the fence. Good recognition from referee Mika Sinkinen. Oh, he manages to get the takedown. Dump well, on the single leg from behind. It was very unorthodox, but it worked. Reaching through and hitting the takedown. Lenichev's got a hold of that leg as well. To, oh, his left goal was going to say, so it'll be hard to underhook and escape. Riggs needs to underhook with that right hand. Under, underhook and hip escape. There we go. He's going to work for it. Riggs posturing onto his left hip. Right hand from Oleg Olenichev. Close guard now for Joe Riggs. Yeah, he pulls full guard instead of escaping. Better than side control. Short left hand from the bottom from Riggs. Yeah, Riggs with foot on the hip. Another left hand from Riggs from the bottom. Lenichev not getting those left-handed punches through. Lenichev's got a hold of the double. He's going to rip the legs out, pull the hip back. Riggs trying to sit up and through. Well, he's halfway there. He's got, the, got to his knee, so that's a good sign. Back to his feet. Now he's going to try and get the whiz out. Blue corner is Joe Riggs. Red corner is Oleg Lenichev. Well, Lenichev has taken this round. Joe Riggs needs to get out of this bad position. He's managed to get one hook in. One hook still in for Oleg Lenichev. Looking rear naked choke. Oh, nice reversal. Great work by Joe Riggs. Beautifully done on the turn, now in the top position. That's it, Joy, ground and pound, let's go. You just heard it from the Riggs corner, ground and pound. Oh, he's going for the toe hold. <laughs> nice takedown attempt. High on the scoop and the takedown hit from Oleg Olenichev. Close guard, the ear slap from Joe Riggs. Rides to the body from Olenichev. The St. Petersburg crowd firmly behind the Russian fighter Oleg Olenichev. Again, Riggs trying to get to his knees. Olenichev keeping a hold of the hip. Riggs gets back up, but for how long? Olenichev's took the back this time. Riggs trying to reach through and under for the ankle pick. He's going to switch, he's going to switch, he gets it, he gets it. Oh, great work. Knee to the body on the stand-up. Good knee from Olenichev. 55 seconds remaining round number two of this middleweight fight. S grip on the body lock from Oleg Olenichev. Well, tried the, the, the trip, didn't quite get it. Look, guys, jostling for position now. 
But again, with that beautiful body lock, Olenichev controlling his opponent. Very close round, but I think Olenichev may have took this round. It could be one round each with 20 seconds left to go. Olenichev snatching the single, and he hits the takedown. One round each, I believe. It's going to be a very close third. Both guys are pretty even. Joe Diesel Riggs, I think, needs to start throwing his hands a little bit more on the stand-up. He's avoiding it. I've never seen him throw punches yet. He's allowing Olenichev to come forward, throw the strikes, get into the clinch. Albeit, he's doing great on the ground. He's not winning the stand-up side of things. I hope he comes out with a bit more vigor in those punches. The wide right hand and the left. Olenichev, early stages of round two, trying to walk down Joe Riggs with those punches. That was the reach through on the single and the takedown. Olenichev doing very well with his own top game in round number two after we saw the top game in full display in round number one for Joe Riggs. The thing is, Joe Riggs has knockout power in his hands. I want to see him throw down now. Maximum of five minutes remain in this key middleweight fight. Two of the best middleweights in all of M1. Joe Riggs versus Oleg Olenichev. Round number three. Left hand from Riggs. Kick checked. Yeah, he's been checked that one. Oh, we got the knee caught in the tummy on the way through. Again, he slips. Nice sit through. Beautiful work by Joe Riggs. Taking the back. The perfect sit through. Needs to get his balance again. Needs to get right. That's a little bit better. Both hooks in now for Riggs. That's Flattening better. out Olenichev. Keep him flat, throw the strikes. Riggs looking rear naked oh, choke. he's got it under. He's got it under. There's a lot of torque there. He needs to keep his opponent flat. Olenichev is going to turn. Riggs still both hooks in. Oh, he's going to manage to get one free, Olenichev. Oh, we're back in. Again, he flattens him out. He needs to go belly down, though, Sean. Lenichev desperately trying to pop out through the back door. Riggs holding this high back position. Great work. See how he's got a hold of the chin? You've got a hold of the chin, and as he tries to flatten him, there's no other option but to go flat. Lenichev now fully flat, now posturing onto his hip. Riggs heavy in the back mount. Left hand trying to open up the yeah, chin of Oleg Olenichev. He's softening up a bit, Sean. He's going to try and punch him to soften him. When someone is really strong with the rear naked defense, punch him a few times. That sometimes allows them to open up the head. Just like that on cue. Olenichev raising up his head, exposing his neck. Rick's trying to take full advantage. You just kind of feel if Joe Riggs throws down some heavy bombs and Olenichev kind of get back to his knees, the ref could stop it. But Olenichev, give him credit, he's still moving. To 40 remaining third and final round. Let's not forget, there's no elbows in M1, otherwise this could have been an early finish. But Joe Riggs just totally dominating this rear mount position. Riggs again flattening out Oleg Olenichev. Just needs to keep it simple. Doesn't need to do anything extravagant. Just keep him flat. Keep punching him. Working for the rear naked. Now he's mounted. Lenichev again giving his neck. In crank position. Riggs lets it go. Big hammer fist. Punch just off of the spine. That was legal. And smart. Another right hand. Oh, great domination here. 
I was getting a little bit worried for Joe Riggs, the way that the ground control was going, but this is dominance. Thudding and precise from Joe Diesel Riggs. The referee's, the referee's, the the referee's going to step in. Sinking this is broke. A close look. He stopped it. Another great win for Joe Diesel Riggs. That is it. Third round TKO for Joe Riggs. He's now two fights, two wins in M1. Ole Galenice puts his hands up as if to say I was all right. But you have to intelligently defend yourself. Being flattened out and getting punched in the head is not intelligently defending yourself. 41 pro MMA finishes for Joe Riggs. That's just remarkable. Strong round number one for Joe Diesel Riggs. A very good round number two for Oleg Olenichev. Riggs, though, re-establishing control of this fight, dominating round number three, getting the back mount. Olenichev looking for the backdoor escape, trying to turn, trying to posture. Too heavy, too technical, too precise with the ground and pound. Mika sinking it, sees enough. Third round TKO win for Joe Riggs. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three minutes, 22 seconds of round three, we have a winner. Due to referee stoppage to ground and pound, Joe Diesel Riggs! Joe Riggs. Oh, here, I'm here with your champion, Joe Diesel Riggs. In the first round, he caught you with a punch in your eye. How dangerous was that? Joe, it was that in the first round, the shot came straight in the eye, how bad it was. It sucked, man. Blinded me for about 30 seconds. Thankfully, I got the takedown, so I was able to get my vision back. But he's a tough kid, man. He keeps coming. It was very bad. I lost my eye in 30 seconds, and I was practically left blind. So I had to do a takedown to continue the fight. Well, going into the third round, I had it scored equal. You had the first round, he had the second. How important did you realize that this third round, because I was getting a little bit worried that the ground game, he was just simply turning you and reversing you, but then you dominated. Were you worried going into the third round? По моему мнению, первый раунд остался за твоим соперником, второй раунд остался за тобой, третий раунд был очень важен. И в партере сложилось ощущение, что ты не очень комфортно себя чувствуешь. Как ты думаешь? Oh, uh, it was definitely a good one and one going to the third. I mean, I was sick. I had the flu. I was really nervous anyways. Uh, I mean... Diesel, Riggs! He's found success in the UFC, Bellator, Strike Force, the WEC, and now finding success in M1. Two fights, two wins, both by third round TKO. Riggs caught legally with that right hand in his left eye in round number one, immediately hit the takedown. Can you see the kick on the arm and the right hand through with the knuckle extended? You just heard Riggs Telly in the machine Freeman. He could not see out of that left. Left eye for 30 seconds. Riggs, though, controlling round number one, implementing the ground and pound. That was a gorgeous takedown by Olenichev. Reaching through and under with the single leg and into side control. A high quality second round for Oleg Olenichev. And then Riggs re-establishing control of this fight in round number three. You see the skill with the back mount, exploding through both hooks in with the legs, fully flattening out Oleg Olenichev. Referee Mika sinking and seeing enough with 322 into round number three. 
the winner by way of third round TKO, Joe Riggs defeats Oleg Olenichev.